I've been dreaming not What's up everybody welcome to another honest review video today I have this mini PC the name is really great a uh, top nook and the model number is MX60 actually I have bought this one long ago this is an empty box and I've been using this one for almost a month now as I have started to like this one as I found this one offers a very good value for money offers a very good performance I have bought another here is the second one okay we will start from unboxing we will go through the review process we will check the internals we will check all everything that we check through our review videos but before everything one request look at this i only review the products that i use in my personal life that we actually use in this hun studio pro we don't do videos to promote a product so if you like to watch honest review videos if you prefer true content then please take a little while click on the like button and subscribe to this channel support true content let's start from unboxing but before that let's check the price and specifications of this mini pc a top nook well this is a amd ryzen 5600 u based mini pc so this is no way a budget mini pc and within its price segment this one offers the best value for money Okay, let's do the unboxing of this A Top Nook Meet All Your Needs mini PC. Yeah, here is the one that I have been using for a while now. So let's put this aside for a while. Let's do the unboxing and check what things we are gonna get inside this mini PC. After opening the top lid, the first thing we will notice is the user guide of this MX60. Everything is written clearly, like before you begin, setting up your system, care during use, lithium ion battery warning, and there are a lot of illustrations, there are bullet points, so all the details are given very clearly. Well, here is our A Top Nook mini PC. It's the same one that I've been using for a while. In the front panel, there are two USB 3.1 ports. There is a USB-C port. Okay, this USB-C port over here is a USB 3.1 Gen 2 port. This one supports 10 gigabit data transfer rate and also offers 4K 30 Hz display output. Isn't it amazing? Definitely this is amazing. That means this mini PC can offer up to three display outputs at the same time. One through this USB-C port and two others through these two HDMI ports. So this tiny little mini PC offers three 4K display outputs at the same time. One more time, you can use both of these two HDMI ports at the same time. And then you will be also able to use this USB-C port in the front panel for the third display output. Also, you will get a 3.5mm port in front, so it's very easy to attach a headphone or microphone. There is a power button and inside the power button, there is a LED indicator light. On the left side, there is nothing, but there is a Kensington lock port on the right side and also there is a microSD port on the right side. At the rear part, there is power port, DC in, two HDMI ports. Both of these two ports supports 4K 60 frames per second output. There are two other USB ports, but these are USB 2.0 ports and there is a gigabit ethernet port. Underneath the ports, there is a very big giant cutout for air outlet and it's clearly visible that there are copper heat pipes and copper heat sink attached to the processor. So this should offer very good thermal performance. Well, let's see what other things we have got inside the box. There is a very short HDMI cable. You will need this HDMI cable if you are gonna VESA mount your mini PC at the back of your monitor. They have also provided a very long HDMI cable. This mini PC also comes with a 65 watt charger. This is a premium quality charger, very, very good build quality. And after using this mini PC for a month with this charger, I can clearly say this charger is one of the most premium chargers that I have got inside a box of any mini PC. Finally, there is a face mount bracket, some screws and some tools to use this face mount bracket. Okay, after unboxing, let's check the internals, let's check upgradability, build quality and altogether what we are getting inside this mini PC. Well, this is how it looks. This is the second one. This is actually the first one. These two are the Atop NUC MX60. These are my previous mini PCs. Well, why do I like this one? Look at this. They have provided the cable inside the mini PC. So if you want to add a SSD, there is a slot. Just connect the cable with your SSD disk and put the SSD disk on the top panel. If you are thinking like, how can I put my SSD disk here and how can I screw the drive, then okay, you can actually remove this top panel it's very easy just remove the top panel put your ssd drive over here and then connect this cable to your ssd drive and put back this top panel on top of your mini pc you are good to go 
Well, look at this. They are using Intel SSD 670p series, which is a very good series, which offers a very fast data transfer rate. And actually, this series offers more reliability over any other over here. Also, these mini PCs comes with crucial RAM DDR4-3200. Yeah, it's not 2666. These are 3200 dual channel RAMs, 8 plus 8 gigabyte. So altogether we get 16 gigabyte. But as I'm personally using this one, I have upgraded this one to 32 gigabyte RAM. Yeah, there are two 16 gigabyte slots. So in dual channel, this one offers a very fast and very good performance. In terms of upgradability, I have already shown that you can add SSD drive. We can change the NVMe drive. We can upgrade RAMs. And even if it's not necessary, but if you want, it's very easy to access to the Wi-Fi card. So yeah, if you want, you can also upgrade the Wi-Fi. Why I have opened all these mini PCs over here. Look at these. It's like one part is blocked, another part is open so it's a bit of a hassle to open the other part so if you really want to access to the wi-fi card or the battery or any other component then it's really a bit of a hassle and this mini pc actually costs way more than these two look at these there are cables hanging even if these are good quality this one actually comes with the best motherboard i mean the pcb this motherboard comes with more layers and more security features so this one offers better value for money better upgradability more reliability altogether I have upgraded this one. I have been using this one as my personal mini PC because this one offers even better performance. Yeah, talking about performance, we are gonna run 3D Mark, we are gonna run Geekbench, we are gonna run Cinebench, and we are gonna check all these three scores. But one more thing, even if this one isn't a gaming PC, but I have managed to play games on this one and not like managed to play games, I have enjoyed gaming on this Atop Nook MX60 mini PC. So let's play games first, let's check frame rate, and then we will go through three different benchmarks, and then finally we will come to a point where we can decide whether this one offers good value for money or not, whether you should buy this one or not. Personally, I am using this one, I like this one, that's why I am doing this review video. Well, one more thing, does this one support 4K 60Hz display output? Definitely, this one supports 4K 60Hz and look at this. There are two HDMI ports, both of these two HDMI ports at the same time can offer 4K 60Hz display output. And this USB-C port supports 4K 30Hz. Also, let me repeat one more time, this one supports 10 gigabit data transfer rate, so that's an amazing thing. Okay, here comes confirmation, 4K 60Hz, 3840 by 2160. Now let's check device specifications, processor AMD Ryzen 5 5600U with Radeon graphics, 2.3 GHz, 16GB of RAM. I'm super satisfied to see that Atop Nook, they have provided Windows 11 Pro because most of the other brands, those are not providing Windows 11 Pro out of the box. Here we have got Windows 11 Pro. 5689. That's what this Atop Nook mini PC has managed to score in Cinebench R23. Considering this is a Ryzen 5600U based mini PC, this is a very good score. Geekbench scores are also very promising. 1410 in single core and 6220 in multi core. I must say, it's amazing. Actually, after the 3D Merc wildlife test, I was truly surprised. Look at this, legendary performance. At this moment, this is the highest score by any Ryzen 5600 U-based system. This is beyond my expectations. This mini PC is a real beast. I love to play Striker Zone. Truly, I didn't even expect this mini PC to get more than 50 frames per second. But MX60 mini PC has constantly provided 60 frames per second. The word amazing isn't enough anymore. This is magical performance. Performance. I am super happy. This PC has made me play games for hours after hours because I have started to believe it's fun to play games on a mini PC. Very stable frame rate, CPU and GPU temperature. Altogether, this is my the most favorite mini PC at this moment. Okay, this should be the end of this video, right? I have already talked about everything of this mini PC and I am in love with this mini PC. Considering its price tag, this one offers the best value for money at this moment. I mean, among all the mini PCs which comes with Ryzen 5600U processor. Not only that, this one has almost beaten some of my Ryzen 5900HX based mini PCs. 
if you are interested in that then subscribe to this channel and stay tuned because in my next mini pc video you are gonna get more surprises and yeah definitely i'm gonna compare this one with some of my ryzen 5900 hx based mini pcs in my next video if you have liked this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel stay tuned for more mini pc videos what i want i'll keep dreaming